Xbox 2 coming out, what has been the perception with this new release? Have the fans been receiving it well? Have you been receiving it well? What's that been like for you? I mean, I've been receiving it great because I don't play, so okay. it doesn't matter. No, uh, you know, I think it's... Um, I think some fans are getting used to the 5v5 um, and the new look, and so there's a little bit of an adjustment period. But for the most part, people I meet at the cons are just excited that it's back, that there, there's a new revamped feeling. Um, I think people are excited for new voice lines, new character interactions. We obviously all want more storyline, you know, because we want to know more about the characters. But for the most part, I feel like I've heard good stuff. At the beginning, obviously, there were you know trouble troubles getting online and long queues and all that stuff. Yeah. But but I don't understand the tech side of things, so I broke I, the internet. That's a good thing. Usually, Sombra hacked it. Usually. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, that's great. And last time you spoke with agents of fandom, you weren't able to talk about it as much prior to the release. Has it been like a weight lifted off your shoulders? I mean, the I guess the one thing that is exciting now is that now gamers know. You have heard new voice lines, have heard, have heard how the game feels or how it plays, so there's not this big secret of like, well, we can't tell you anything. Right. So now it's exciting to be able to have people come up and be like, oh, I love this new voice line that you say in this, you know, instance. And so it's, it, it just gives us more to talk about, I guess, sure. you know. And was um, there any secret that kind of you wanted to tell but couldn't? Not specifically. Okay. Um, well, I mean, there is stuff that I've recorded that's not out yet, so those are secrets. And that should be fun stuff coming. Um, besides that, it's all it's all very related to gameplay, so that's not my area of expertise. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. I wanted to transition into Morgan's Mask and just ask you about the inspiration behind that, and do you do any cosplay yourself? <laughs> I have cosplayed Sombra four times. Uh, always with the same cosplayer who makes my cosplay and then for Morgan's Mask my character does cosplay and the final cosplay is made by the same cosplayer who made all those Sombra cosplays she's Mel Melanie Jasmine she's incredible um, she made my Mercy cosplay which is crazy cool for the film um, the inspiration was actually uh, the writer director wrote I mean he's the writer so he wrote it <laughs> and he reached out to me with the script so I actually didn't write the script but when I read it I was so moved by it and so connected to the story that I was like we need to make this so I rallied the troops on Kickstarter and we got the funding to make it happen um, and then once we were shooting I was definitely able to to tell the director certain things that I felt I had learned from gamers at cons or cosplayers that I wanted to infuse the character with. So there's a lot of me sprinkled into Morgan, but also a lot of stories of, of people I've met that yeah. felt like she did or had similar experiences. So I feel like it's not just the writer's story, but it's a hodgepodge of kind of what I've heard, what I experienced in the pandemic, even if I'm not a gamer. I was living alone and I was connecting with people online like everybody else. Yeah. So we had a similar feel of what we were all going through, even if we were engaging differently so it's a long answer to say a lot, a lot of different cooks in the kitchen for different parts of the movie but you know th this writer reached out to me with the project and it was kind of crazy that I, I felt so connected to it and that I felt it would speak to so many of my of my fans that are gamers and cosplayers yeah yeah, yeah. and so last question transitioning over to more of a Marvel question so of course you're a voice acting legend in so many facets of media and with Marvel, the Marvel Avengers game, um, as well as Spidey and his amazing friends. Have you spoken with who our source tells us is your work wife, <laughs> Anjali yes. Bamani? Yes. <laughs> Have you been talking with her about possibly getting into the MCU or if she's kind of helping you? secretly along we, we wish we had this much power guys <laughs> if actors could be like hey um uh, so my friend wants to be in Marvel <laughs> um I mean if Anj could she would help me get into the Marvel Universe but that's you know there's so many uh different ways that that works we audition there's casting directors oh, yeah. agents you know <laughs> mostly really big celebs playing um the main characters mm -hmm. so maybe someday I'll <laughs> Maybe someday I will audition, but so far I haven't. So, okay. I, I mean, yes, in a dream world, Anjali just makes a phone call and, and we're working together on a project. <laughs> yeah. um, but not yet, guys. Not yet. Is that something you'd be interested in? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Wonderful. I think that it's just it's such good superhero 
action happening. And also for me, it's like the diversity aspect. I love that more and more we're representing people from different ethnic backgrounds and nationalities. And so for me, that's exciting. Um, yeah, but I think a, but I think more and more it's just about telling stories with inclusive characters and and definitely. people of different backgrounds. You know, definitely. whether it's Marvel or, or anything else. Do you have a hero you would love to play? It's funny. I don't. Uh, there's not a hero that I think. Oh, that should be done. Like I know they're working on a Puerto Rican character. Um, for me, I think it would just have to be something new that that is very connected to me. Um, I think she, I'd love it to be a Hispanic character just because I feel like more and more the characters I, I play are from South America and I obviously connect to that upbringing into the culture so that would be great but I'm also open to whatever comes and in animation I do feel like there is that possibility to play people from all over so Definitely. open to what the universe wants to send me. <laughs> Wonderful. We, yeah. we wish you the best with that. Thank you, Thank you so much for Thank taking you. this time to just talk with us Thank about you so much. our Absolutely. questions. We could yeah. talk to you forever, I think. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. It was Thank really you. Really Thank nice you guys. Thank you. you. It was so nice meeting you.